Hello, my name is Joe McCartney. Thank you for watching this broadcast. This broadcast will focus on Cisco Fastlane, what Fastlane is, how to enable Fastlane, and how to get your application validated by Cisco Fastlane. So what is Fastlane? In 2015, Cisco and Apple entered a partnership together. From this partnership, we are now providing enterprise and commercial customers the opportunity to prioritize their mission critical applications for their users' BYOD devices with D-specific to Apple iOS. Fastlane is the enabler for this. For example, I am in retail and I equip my sales personnel on the floor with an iPad. And on this iPad, I have an inventory application that is critical for running the day-to-day -day store operations. With Fastlane enabled at this retail location, that inventory application will have priority over other non-business critical applications that happen to be in the store at the time. For example, a customer viewing Facebook or Instagram as they stroll through the store. That inventory application will have priority over it. So I'm interested in Fastlane. Where do I begin the process? Very simple. Open any web search engine. In this case, I will use Google. And remember one word, Cisco DevNet. Type that into the browser and it will bring up the Cisco DevNet link. So what is Cisco DevNet? For those unfamiliar with DevNet, Cisco created a community that provides application developers such as yourself with Cisco's APIs, SDKs, and even sandboxes to test your application. It showcases Cisco's open technology and it includes communities and support to help developers utilize network programmable resources. I strongly recommend that once we have your application registered for Fastlane, that you get familiar with the DIS DevNet site and all that it has to offer. One thing you will notice right off is that Cisco DevNet team has further segmented communities into separate technologies. As Fastlane is specific to Apple iOS and mobility, you would click on the mobility icon. This will take you to the Cisco DevNet mobility page where developer solutions for Cisco mobility infrastructure are showcases, as you can see. Look for the iOS Fastlane Validation Program box and click on Explore More. When you click on this site, this will take you to the Fastlane Validation Program site. You will notice a lot of information on this site, but for the purpose of this video and to start the process of Fastlane, scroll down to the bottom of the site where you get to submit your app for validation. I'm gonna enter some information just to get the process started to show. There's two questions that you are going to be asked around submitting. The first one is, is your app Fastlane enabled? Yes or no? Obviously, if it's not enabled, we're not gonna be able to validate it. However, if Fastlane is something that you're interested in and you're still not 100% sure what is needed, we will definitely work with your team to get that application enabled. So click yes or no, but note without it being enabled and your application having that necessary QS markings, we cannot validate. The second question is around, do you have any Cisco Meraki gear in your test environment or test bed? We will be testing Fastlane in the Cisco lab. So there's no need or worry about having Cisco equipment for that purpose. However, if you wanna do additional Fastlane testing outside of the validation, you will be required to do so in your own test bed. So let me just enter these last few bits of information and click on submit once all the information is entered. You will get a notification that you submit your app. That is it. Behind the scenes right now, members of the DevNet team are getting notified that your app is ready for validation and they will contact you at the time that is when you're available for a call. So now what? Is that it? Well, I've got some very good news. Cisco has teamed up with some marketing resources that once your application is validated, your company will have two opportunities on getting this application exposed to Cisco customers and its sales team. The first is you will have an opportunity to join Cisco Solution Partner Program. By becoming a member of this program, your company will have the rights to logos, specifically the Cisco compatible logo for Fastlane. 
Also with the Cisco Solutions Partner Program, you'll have go-to-market resources such as Cisco Marketplace, press release, as well as access to Cisco resellers and other ecosystem partners. I highly recommend that you familiarize yourself with and take advantage of this partner program. The second opportunity is with DevNet Creations. Once you have your application Fastlane enabled and validated, Cisco will profile your application and your company on the DevNet Creations page. This will give your application additional exposure to Cisco DevNet community as well as Cisco's teams. So thank you. This concludes my overview on how to get started. I will now turn this over to Ashutosh who will provide an overview on the validation process as well as the application and network requirements. Hi, uh, so today what I'm going to do is give you an overview of what Fastlane is all about. The second thing that I'm going to do is also give you an overview of what the validation labs look like. So before I get into what Fastlane is, let me start off by telling you, giving you an example. So let's say that in an enterprise, I have two applications. Uh, one is a business critical application and the second one is a consumer facing application. They are in the wireless network, so we have an AP and this is the wireless network. Now think about it this way, right? Which, which of this application would you want uh, to have better quality of service or better experience in an enterprise? Obviously it's going to be the business critical one. So what, what Apple and Cisco have done is they have teamed up and they've come up with a solution called as Fastlane where it enables these applications to actually do better QoS or quality of service for these applications. It works at two levels. One is at layer two uh, and the second one is at layer three. Now in the layer three, uh, it's up to the application uh, to actually notify what type of traffic it wants to mark and that traffic will get higher priority in, in the network. So what are the different types of traffic that you will see in the network? Now typically you would actually have four types of traffic. One is voice, the second is video, the third is real time data or signaling and the last one is background. The third one is also known as best effort. So let me start off by giving you an example of what voice is. Like obviously like voice traffic is nothing but if I have a voice application, uh, I'm doing a voice chat between the two, two between two, two endpoints. So that is voice application. The second one is a video application, pretty much similar to what you see in voice, except that like, you know, you'll have higher packet sizes, the queue sizes will be different. Uh, and that's exactly what the vo video will be. The third one is about real time data. In this example would be like if I have an application where I'm sending mouse events or I am drawing something and it needs to be transmitted across the network or it could be signaling traffic uh, that I want to actually do uh, send it across the network. So this is the third type of uh, traffic and the last one is the background traffic. In this case, it would be basically having images or videos which are being uploaded uh, into the network. Now they are not very critical because like even if I transmit the image now versus if I transmit it after a second, it really doesn't matter, right? So that, that it, this, this type of traffic also helps in becoming a good co uh, uh, consumer in, in the enterprise. So now that you've seen like what is Fastlane, you've also seen what are the different types of traffic that are uh, used for, uh, for Fastlane. Now let me talk about what the validation process is all about. So given that like you know in an enterprise you have APs, you have applications, what we have done inside DevNet is we have created a test harness exactly with the same setup but now we have a validator in the network. Now what this validator would do is it will capture traffic coming from this AP and it would analyze it and finally generate a report. Now in the analysis, it will also see, see to it that the, the QoS markings are marked correctly, but also if the application says that it is a voice application, that it is really marking it as voice. 
uh, I could have applications that say that I am real time data, but they could be marking as video or voice. So, that is something that this test harness will validate and like actually do something about it. So, once I have this report, you are you are on to the next thing of actually figuring out and getting a Cisco compatible logo.